Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th. But most of us know that the timing is fluid. These readings are really timeless. Divine timing is real. Everything happens at the right time, as it should. This is something that is coming in in the very near future. Okay, so let's just see what comes up. So what do we have for a message today? I have four more slots open for March. And uh, on my booking, my private readings, they're March 23rd and 24th. After that, I'm closed off for a while. If you want it, you better get it now. Uh, the Fool reversed and the Magician reversed. So... Oh, this is making a poor judgment call. Lack of awareness. We have somebody here that isn't very aware. They're not very awakened. Um, headed for a fall. Somebody is headed for a fall because they're not very awakened. They're not, um, they don't, it's like they're not really connected. They're not using their divine connection. Um... This is foolish behavior. Aha, uh -huh, we have one hiding behind it. Ooh, the Empress. That was like right behind it. The Empress upright. So the Empress is giver of life, unconditional love. The Empress creates a new life through love. This is an opportunity for abundance. We have somebody here that is, and it was hiding. They are completely unaware that they are dealing with somebody that is very abundant and has a lot of love to offer. This is a lack of awareness. It's interesting. I didn't even know this card was there. So we have somebody here that is foolish, clueless, absolutely clueless that they are dealing with an empress. Could be the Taurus, Libra, could be anybody. The Empress um, does everything with love. Very, very abundant. Look at the abundance. Look at the beauty. Extremely beautiful energy, right? This is, this is, uh, we have a very abundant person here. glowing absolutely glowing just waiting this person's just sitting there enjoying life just waiting for something this person's behind the scenes right totally behind the scenes uh somebody is is absolutely clueless to what they're dealing with this is a poor decision Magician reversed, not taking any action. This is somebody who's not taking any action. They're not doing anything. Stupid. It is. This is definitely stupid. Just being honest. Okay, because we have an empress here. This person uh, has a lot to offer, right? This is somebody that is very nurturing, very loving, very gentle, very motherly. Hmm. We're gonna put them like this. This is totally unaware. We have somebody that's completely unaware of who they're dealing with. They could be scared, they could be fearful. You know, there could be some fear of, you know, getting involved with this person because the Empress is somebody of value, you know, definite value, huge abundance. I mean, the Empress, what, is the goddess of love, ruled by Venus, ruled by love. But this is, we have an individual here that's not taking any action. Maybe they're in their ego. I'm not sure. But this is, this is somebody that uh, maybe they don't have any resources. This could be somebody that doesn't have the resources. Maybe they're very intimidated by this empress. We may also have somebody here that is, you know, they're not qualified. They know that they're not qualified. This is somebody who has a lot of options. 
The Empress has many, many, many options because she knows her value. Everybody wants the Empress. Anyway, we have we have another individual over here that is uh, not doing anything, or they just don't have the resources, or they're not qualified. Maybe they've made some poor decisions in the past. That fool reversed is uh, foolish behavior. You know, it could be bad timing, unprepared, stupid. You know, lack of judgment. Somebody's making a poor judgment call. Could be doing something. This could these could both be impulsive behavior. But I'm not sure if that's what it is. The Empress, she's creating a new life. She's abundant. She has a lot to offer. But I'm not sure if she may be unaware. This Empress could be unaware that she's dealing with a master manipulator. Because the I don't know though. I mean the magician reverse is manipulation. This is fear. So, you know, I don't think it's her because she's so, she's, she's just sitting there waiting. She has so much to offer. She knows she has so much to offer. This is, this is, uh, not taking any action. Could be because of fear. Ooh, Ace of Wands reversed. That's going south. Lack of ambition, lack of drive. No get up and go. We have somebody here that doesn't have any ambition. And things are going south because, I mean, the Empress is all about growth. This is a lack of growth. This is a lack of ambition as well. There's a lot of fear here. So we have somebody here that is fearful of this empress. She doesn't need anybody. She's already abundant. She has everything, obviously. Ace of Wands reverse. That's that's uh being weighed down by fear. Because the fool reversed is fearful. Somebody's or they may even be hallucinating, you know. They may feel like they're not qualified. So they may, they may feel that way. Those could just be feelings. Okay. Um, no trust. No faith. Right here. We have somebody here that has no faith. Two of coins reversed. Lovers reversed. So this is in regards to a partnership. It's in regards to a union. Somebody is, it is, could we have, this is a partnership, this is a union. Anyway, I'm just talking to myself. This is lack of balance, not qualified. Somebody really is not qualified or they feel like they're not qualified. They may, they may feel like there's no chance or something like that. The lover's reverse is detachment, it's disharmony. This is disharmony as well. This is a poor decision. The two of pentacles reverse is a poor decision. We may have somebody here that is not financially stable. You know, they, they, they aren't financially stable or they just feel like they don't have enough to offer. I mean, the empress is beautiful, okay? She's abundant. You don't come near the empress with nothing to offer, okay? Because she has so many options. And maybe that's what's going on here. That could be the case. The lovers reversed. That is a detachment. It is a separation. Um, no growth. There's no growth in a partnership. Somebody may have done something reckless or they're unaware or they're not doing anything. They're not because of fear. They're not doing anything. Somebody may have to separate from a partner to be with the Empress. I mean, the Empress does not. Uh, cheat okay the empress in reverse does but the empress in the upright does not she will not engage in a third party situation so we may have somebody here that wants to take action but they won't take action because maybe they're already in a partnership that they you know and they can't have both they can't have both this is somebody the empress doesn't play <laughs> she does not play games all right, the lover's reverse is a separation of some sort. 
There's no growth. There's no passion. There's no desire. There's no uh, things coming to fruition because we have an individual that's not taking any action. And I feel like they're, they're missing an opportunity. The fool reversed. That's missing an opportunity for passion. Somebody, we have an individual here that is an individual that is missing an opportunity. This is, an, this is a very passionate opportunity. This is a beautiful opportunity to be loved and cared for. They are missing this opportunity because they are in a partnership right now that is probably, there's some sort of financial gain with holding on to this partnership. So there's, we have an Aries here right here we have a Gemini we also have Taurus in Libra we have Gemini here we have a partnership where there's no passion okay there's no passion there's no growth and but there's some sort of financial tie to it and there's another option here that is beautiful that could create a new life and bring a lot of abundance but there's no action being taken because of a, you know, decision that needs to be made, but the choice is not being made because of fear. What's the fear? What is the fear? Fear of falling. Fear of uh, things not growing. Fear of not being chosen. We have somebody here that is paranoid. They're paranoid to let go of something that is already unbalanced, but there's some sort of financial tie to it. They do see an, a beautiful option, but they aren't doing anything about it. We already talked about that. Lovers, lovers reversed. That is disharmony in a partnership, separation, detachment, one-sidedness. Somebody's in a one-sided partnership with an individual that really isn't giving them the passion that they need. But they're too scared to do anything about it. Oh. Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups? I don't know. Most of us know what the Eight of Cups is. Goodbye. See ya. This is a necessary but painful goodbye. Somebody is in a situation where there is emotional dissatisfaction. There is no passion. There is no growth. There is no excitement. There's no love by the looks of things. There's some sort of financial gain, but that's it. And there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment, and there's an opportunity for abundance, and there's an opportunity for a new life, but it will require action to be taken. So I feel like on this day, we have somebody here that is probably thinking. They're probably thinking about taking action. They're thinking about leaving a situation that has no, they have no desire to be in. It is a partnership. But I don't, I feel like they're so scared. They're so scared to do so. The Empress may have said goodbye. She may have said, nope, nope. I know my value. I know my worth. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not getting myself into, you know, a third party situation. The Empress, um, you know, isn't stupid. And I keep seeing stupid with that fool reversed. You know, I'm not stupid. Not going to engage with you, you know. Some, somebody may have already said goodbye to a potential partnership because whoever they were dealing with had two options. And the lovers is always a choice between two. So somebody, I feel like we have this empress up here who has, who is very abundant. The empress is the queen of value, okay? She's the queen of all queens. She's all queens put together and she knows her value. She's probably looking at a 
false partnership or a false contract. And she's just waiting. She's waiting for somebody that, you know, um, isn't stupid. That is going to see her beauty. You're going to see her abundance. Anyway, the Empress is the create creator of life. So this is the birth of a new life. The Empress is going to be receiving something. She always does. She, she incubates. You know, it's a time of incubation. And then she receives a blessing. So a blessing is coming for this Empress who has been going through something. Okay, because the Empress is typically somebody that is... Uh, not always, but pregnant, you know, and that's a that's a time of incubation. And at the end of it, at the end of this uh, gestational period, a blessing arrives. So I do feel like a blessing is coming for this empress. I feel like this empress has said goodbye to a partnership or she's going to be saying goodbye to a partnership may somebody may have wanted to just have sex I mean the ace of wands very sex sexual energy and the magician reverse is a no upright it's a yes somebody's saying no nope uh-uh nope Somebody may have heard the words no, or they're going to be hearing the words no. Nope. Not getting in a partnership. Not going to bite off more than I can chew. I'm not going to be, you know, one of your balls, you know, because this is like juggling. This is a player card. We have a player here. Somebody that needs to let go of something. They can't have their cake and eat it too. But I do feel like this individual has bitten off more than they can chew. And now they're struggling to make a choice because they have a beautiful option. And they know that this beautiful option has multiple options as well. Because the Empress has multiple options. So I feel like... Uh, we have a partnership that is going south... Somebody is being weighed down by this partnership. There's no passion. It's a passionless connection. Somebody needs to say goodbye, but they're too scared to do it. So I feel like on this day, there's, there, there could be some overwhelm. Somebody could, this person, whoever this person is that is not taking any action may be overwhelmed, okay, by their decision. There could be an upcoming separation. There could be. It could happen very, very suddenly. These are both sudden energies. So there could, this is sudden, sudden separation from a partnership that is not compatible. It's not. When in reverse, it's not compatible. This is goodbye. Somebody could be saying goodbye to a partner that, you know, they made a poor choice. They made a poor decision to get involved with. They may be saying goodbye to that. Ah! The tower. The tower. So that is, I don't know, there could be a fight. There could be a fight. This is a dismantling of a false contract. That's a false sense of security and that is a contract. So we have a dismantling of a false contract. This is a disruption. This is an accident or an explosion or... Um, explosive energy okay I do believe that something is going to happen very very suddenly this is a sudden uh, uproar of some sort there definitely could be a fight between two people that just don't see eye to eye with each other anymore somebody could leave it could happen very 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 suddenly um, this is a major disruption okay somebody uh, may be unaware they may be unaware that they're in a false contract or you know and they've been holding on to it for financial reasons the tower is a universe card the universe comes in to cause chaos this is chaos and this is chaos so be prepared for some chaos somebody is in a passionless situation where there's really no growth there's no attraction 
they are fearful of letting it go because, you know, maybe they don't want to be alone. Anyhow, the tower is a necessary evil. It's where the universe comes in to clean something out that no longer serves you. So there is going to be a major disturbance, courtesy of the universe, that I feel like separates somebody from a false sense of security and forces them, because that is universal force, and forces them to start over, forces somebody to go down the path that they want to, that they truly want to go down. There's, I feel like there, there, there is a fall here, okay? This is a fall, this is a fall, and this is a fall. So this is like a fall. Could be a fall from power, a fall from grace, a fall out. Somebody could have a fall out with a partner, okay? This is a partner, okay? It's, it's somebody that they have been in a partnership with. I think that there is going to be a sudden disruption that changes everything. Somebody may be forced to say goodbye. They may be forced to leave. Forced goodbye. Okay, that is goodbye. Um, so they, they could, somebody could be forced to leave. We definitely have some lies here with the magician reversed. Somebody hasn't been, could be self-deception. You know, somebody may have been deceiving themselves, not telling the truth. You know, uh, but I do expect a change, and this is a massive change. Um, I think things are going to change really, 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 really fast. Um, we do have a partnership that has been going south for probably the last, I don't know, two years maybe. It just keeps going, getting worse and worse and worse and worse. We've reached the point of disruption. We've reached the point of breakdown, you know, massive breakdown. This is, uh, somebody could explode, you know, things, that the top gets blown off, right? And there's nothing you can do. This is light being shed on a situation, the truth coming out. Everybody's seeing that this isn't real, you know? So that, it looks to me like we need to get prepared for a major disruption in regards to a partnership where there's no more compatibility. There's no compatibility. Somebody may have gotten into the relationship, you know, foolishly. You know, they may have leapt into the relationship because they were, they didn't want to be alone. It feels like they didn't want to be alone, you know, and um, maybe they needed financial help. You know, they needed, they wanted the financial benefit, you know, of letting this person into their lives. The universe does not want you to hold on to a partnership for a financial gain. And they will only let you do that for so long. So anyway, I do believe that this is a loss. I think that I do see a loss here. I see a loss of a partnership that is not meant to be. And I see that there is a better option for a new life. Um, but you think about the Empress when she gives birth to a new life. It does not come without pain. So there will be pain involved in receiving this new life. So get prepared, okay, for a painful separation that leads to a blessing. Um, and that's what the energy says. So good luck.